Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to wipe a computer clean in Windows 10 and save your personal files. Free and easy. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by going to our Windows 10 settings and we can do that by going to our start menu and clicking on settings or we can go over to our taskbar here in the lower right hand corner and click on our action center icon and click on all settings. Once we have the settings window open, we can go ahead over to here and click on update and security. And we can go over to the left hand side here and scroll down and click on recovery. And then go over here to reset this PC and basically if your PC is not running well or is freezing or you want to reset it back to factory defaults, you click on get started right on there reset this PC. And once you do, you get this prompt here that says choose an option. And you get two to choose from. And the first one is keep my files and reset it back to factory defaults. And the second one is remove everything. So if you plan to sell your computer or throw it away, you would want to wipe out everything and choose the second one here. But if you're going to keep your computer, you want to keep your personal files, then choose the first one and that's the one we're going to choose on this tutorial and then we uh, get a message getting things ready this won't take long and it really doesn't take that long and then Microsoft is good enough to give us an opportunity to see the apps that were installed on this system after Windows 10 was installed and they're going to be removed once the system is reset back to factory defaults. So um, make note of these apps so that if you choose to reinstall them you can and once you're finished looking at those click on next and then Microsoft gives you one last opportunity to change your mind with this final prompt that basically says uh, resetting will remove all apps and programs that didn't come with this PC change settings back to their defaults and reinstall Windows without removing your personal files. This will take a while and your PC will restart several times. Once you're ready, click on Reset. Now my laptop computer is restarting itself and I expect it to restart several times during the resetting of my system and reinstalling Windows 10 back onto my laptop computer. Also keep in mind that um, depending on the speed and performance of your computer the resetting and the reinstallation of Windows 10 can take anywhere from two to three hours or even more. Now through the magic of video editing this has been speeded up uh, XX number of times so um, for this tutorial. Okay um, it's completed resetting and now it's installing Windows 10 for me and um, it's installing the files that are in, and um, the drivers that are necessary for Windows 10 to uh, be installed on my laptop computer. Now we're at 65% um, configuring um, the system files for Windows 10 so that it can install it completely and once it's finished configuring I get the Windows logo here and once I log in it moves along says hi and then we're setting things up for you and then I get the message taking care of a few things setting up your apps and um, then the next screen is just a few more tweaks don't turn off your PC and then it'll give me this last message it's taking a bit longer than usual but it should be ready soon don't turn off your PC and uh, maybe this isn't the last one I think we get one more we get this message right here that says basically let's start and then uh, we roll right into the Windows 10 desktop. Now um, as you remember Windows 10 um, starts on the Windows 10 uh, desktop. It doesn't start in the start menu. So um, keep that in mind 
and uh, at this point we have completed the factory reset of our Windows 10 on this uh, laptop computer and we have uh, managed to keep all of our personal files um, which are basically you know pictures videos and uh, music etc 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 okay and left a little bit of uh, um, junk around this is a, a uh, leftover from it removing movie maker that I had on the desktop okay um, that's it for this video tutorial subscribe and like my video